Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be a closet clean out. So I already went through my dressers and my closet and picked out everything that I'm going to be getting rid of and I just thought it'd be fun to show you guys. The last time I did a closet clean out, you guys seemed to really enjoy it so I figured I'd go ahead and do another one. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm getting rid of are these jeans. I believe they're from the, um, the store called Vanity. Ours went out here in town, so I don't know if they're still around or not, uh, but they are the Aria denim. Um, it's kind of how they, they size their stuff and their cut and, and things like that. They label them um, Aria. These ones are Aria. There's another one I have here that's got a different name to them, I think. Um, oh, I guess they're both called Aria. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure they're both from the store called Vanity. These ones are a size 22. I really, really like them, and I really wish that I could keep them because they are so stinking cute. Like, look how they're just so, so cute. And they have like, this massive button on them that I love. Let me pull you down a little bit. So they have this massive button right here that I love. I just think it's super cute. It's very decorative. Um, and then it's got pockets and all that fun stuff, all the cute detailing on the back. They're just super cute skinny jeans. I absolutely love them. So the reason I'm getting rid of these jeans along with two other pairs I'm going to show you I think, <laughs> is that they're too big on me. Like, they start off looking great. They look super cute right now. They fit pretty well. A little loose, but not bad. But if I wear them throughout the day, they get super baggy on me, and they're just falling off. So they're really just way too big on me. Um, they are a size 22, and at JCPenney in the A&A brand jean, I wear a size 18W. So this is like two sizes up from that, but... <laughs> my sizing fluctuates all over the place depending on where I'm at so I don't know that that's really um, a good reference or not but these ones and the next pair I'm going to show you are a size 22 both of them are and they're just too big which really sucks because they're really cute jeans but I'll show you the other pair these ones are the other pair that are the Aria jeans they're also size 22 but in a light wash denim still really cute jeans I really like them they have cute back pockets with like some crystals and some detailing on them and the button up here in the front has like a sparkly little gem in it. So again, a really cute pair of jeans, but I have the same problem. If I wear them throughout the day, they just fall off of me. They get really, really big really quickly. So it's just time to pass them on and they gotta go. The next item I'm getting rid of is this crop top. It says live freely. It has um, little feathers on it. It is a really cute crop top. It's kind of like a high low that goes um, lower in the back. So your back and everything is covered, um, and then it's definitely higher in the front and shows off your belly. But crop tops just aren't my thing. I've literally never worn it. Honestly, I'm not even sure what the size is on it. I forgot to look before I put it on. Um, I can insert it somewhere in case somebody's interested. But that's what this one looks like. It is really, really cute. It's just not my thing. So I'm going to pass it on along. This next shirt is one that I like the idea of. But I'm not really sure how to wear it, and I've honestly never worn it. So this is just kind of what it looks like. It is just short sleeve. It has some like lace detailing that comes up right through here, and then the back of it is lace all across the shoulders. So it's like a super cute top. But my issue with it is like I have all this extra fabric right here, and I think it's supposed to hang like a cow neck, but it just doesn't hang right it just looks goofy and then the lace right here it's supposed to fold over and sometimes it gets pulled back so that looks really wonky and so I've just never got it to hang right on my body enough for me to feel comfortable to wear it out so since I never ever wear it I'm gonna let it go it's one of the shirts that I, I love to look at but I never wear it so it's like what's the point so time to kick it out of my house. <laughs> this tank is another one that I just love the idea of. I've honestly had it for years and I've only worn it like maybe once or twice. I haven't worn it a lot so time to get rid of it. It's just a basic black tank in the front which I think looks super cute. I love like your basic black tanks. Uh, but in the back here it has all this lace detailing so it's really pretty right through there and then it comes a little bit lower to cover the bum but I never wear it. So it's like, why am I hanging on to this thing that I never wear? So time to send this one along as well. This next one, I'm kind of sad to see it go and I feel 
sentimental about it, but I'm not using it, so why hang on to it? This dress, I had my engagement photos taken in it. And yeah, I just, I'm feeling a little sentimental about getting rid of it. But again, I haven't worn it in years and we, we've been married for like three and a half years now. It'll be four next spring. So it's like, I keep feeling like it's getting cold. This is so weird. You guys know freaky things happen in my house, but it feels like my dress is getting pulled on. Um, anyways, <laughs> so yeah, I feel really sentimental about it and I don't really like want to get rid of it. But on the other hand, like it's just sitting in a tote in my back room, not getting any use. And it's a really pretty dress. So I need to pass it on to somebody who can get some use out of it. So this is what it looks like. So this is what the dress looks like. I just think it's really, really pretty. It has like this high slit here. And I still feel like it's getting pulled on like right here. I feel like it's just getting tugged. It's so weird feeling. Um, so anyways, this is just kind of what it looks like. It's got like, this high, highness right here. I don't know what you call that. It just kind of comes up. It is strapless, so black here. And then you turn it around. And it has like this cutout openings right here on the back which are really pretty um, and it also has a slit on, or a slip underneath um, so that you're not fully exposed because this isn't really sheer fabric you can see right through this part but that's what this one looks like on again really sad to see it go but I don't use it so I need to pass it on so the next two pieces are actually separate from each other but I thought I'd just put them together to show you really quickly just to get them out of the way so this first one here is this little shawl I don't really know what you call it uh, I think it's a really nice shirt if you work like someplace dressy like an office or something and so you need like a little cover-up maybe that's the right word is cover-up or if you have like a funeral or something like, like that that you need to go to but I do not work in an office and I do not have a funeral to go to and I haven't worn this thing in years so I'm gonna pass it on along but it's got like these kind of poofy short sleeves and they're lace see-through detailing, which is really pretty on both sides, obviously. And then the back of it has that cute little cutout at the very top, along with more de lace detailing. And that's just kind of what that looks like. I like the look of it, but I just never have anywhere to wear it, so we're just going to pass it off. But this next thing here is a dress. I actually got it off Yertle, so some of you might remember me unboxing this a couple of years ago. It's really cute. It is strapless. These are my bra straps you're seeing here. But I, for one, it hugs my stomach weird. So I've never worn it. And for two, like it has this um, elastic band right here. And I've never figured out like where to put it. So I always feel like it just sits awkward. Along with the band across the bust here, it is like super stretchy. And I feel like it just the bust area looks weird and again it clings to my stomach so I'm going to show you that here in a second um, you can see it just clings to everything I don't want to have clung to so it's a cute dress just not cute on me time to pass it on and that's all I have to say about this one this next top is super cute because it has this lacy owl on it I'm not sure how well it's showing up on camera with that white on white it's kind of blaring it out but it's really really a cute shirt and it's very comfy on but I don't like the way it hugs my body since having my baby. So like I literally never wear it anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that as well. There's like a basic t-shirt. Kind of has like this um, high-low thing going on here on the hip. If you can see that, I'm not sure. But just one more of those shirts that I don't wear anymore. So time to pass it on. This next shirt I lived in when I first got it. Because it is really, really cute. But honestly, I haven't worn it in years. I feel like it's a bit snug on me now. So this is what it looks like, this is really pretty teal, is this teal? I don't know, teal colored shirt, a little bit of ruching here at the bust, it's really very pretty. The back of it, I love the back of it. So cute, it has like this cord running down the back of it, which I love, I think it looks adorable. But I just never grab it anymore, I don't wear it. So again, time to pass it on. So this shirt I got a few years ago when I was going through my Victoria's Secret phase. It's not actually from Victoria's Secret, but I thought it looked like something you could get from Victoria's Secret, so I had to pick it up. It spells out love, um, but with like leopard print and stuff like that. It's really cute, but I honestly can't say I've ever worn it. I don't like the way it looks on me. It's kind of snug and form-fitting, um, which I just like clothes to be a little more loose. 
but that's what it looks like in the back. It comes down pretty low over the booty and it comes up higher in the front. I'm just not a big fan of high lows. High lows are just have never been my thing. I hardly ever find one that I think really looks that flattering on me. I don't really know why I bought this one, but I mean, it's cute and someone will get a lot of use out of it. Just not me. This shirt I loved when I first got it and I lived in it. I wore it all the time. But that's been a few years. I've gained some weight, I've had a baby, and now I feel like it just all clings to my belly in not the most flattering way. But it's got all this fluffy ruching right through here, which I think is really cute. It's got a line of buttons going down right in the middle. There's a little bit of a v-neck. It's so cute, so flirty. I love it, <laughs> but it just doesn't fit me like it used to, so I'm going to pass it on along. Um, this is what it looks like here in the back. So just a really nice tank top. Just doesn't really fit me right anymore, so time to pass it on. Okay, these jeans here, I'm not sure what size they are, but they are um, from Debs, the Deb brand jeans. And uh, they just have never really fit me right. I bought them secondhand, and I got them pre-pregnancy. That's, that's the thing with all of these jeans. I got all of them except for one pair I'm going to show you pre-pregnancy because I didn't know how big I was going to be after having my son, so I went ahead and sized up and got some bigger jeans. Um, all three of them, none of them fit me right. I think I think this is a size 22 as well. It could be a size 24. They don't fit too badly going on right now, though they are a little bit loose and baggy. Um, but again, if I wear them throughout the day, they like fall off of me. So in the back here, I've got some gapping going on. And I don't know, they're overall just kind of loose on me. But they are a cute pair of jeans. I do like them if they had fit me correctly, but they don't, so I need to get rid of them. But that's what these ones look like. Okay, last pair of jeans I have to show you guys. These are size 18 from the Jordache brand. I loved these jeans before getting pregnant. They're really cute. I love them on. They make my butt look really good. Um, they're just really snug on me now since having my son. One thing I don't like is how low rise they are. They're below my belly button. And so I feel like it hugs everything right here really unflatteringly. Um, and I just, I don't like that. And it feels really tight on my butt now. So I'm going to pass these ones on a little long, but they are really cute. So I wish that they fit me, but they really don't. So that's it for everything I'm getting rid of right now. I definitely have more that I need to go through, uh, but that's just like the best pieces I feel like I have right now that I thought you guys might like looking at and seeing. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoy watching my closet cleanouts. I know the last one I did got really good responses and you guys really enjoyed it. So hopefully you really enjoyed this one as well. Um, if you're new, I hope you decided to stick around by hitting that subscribe button, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.